So here's the seed. This is supposed to start with eight copies of White Noise. Let's embark. That's all there is to it. Random power from every card. What I like about White Noise is that there are no zero cost defect powers, so you're always guaranteed to get something that would have cost energy at a discount. Not sure which path to open with, though. Well, I kind of like this leftmost path, right? Go fire, elite, fire, rest, fire, shop, elite. We'll have to see how it performs in the opening combats. And I think I want to avoid the early shops, so let's go this way. Zippy zappy. All right. White noise with electrodynamics for the win immediately. Is that a storm on floor one? Oh, I like where this is headed. Sir Artemio asks, have I ever got seven plus copies of a card from an actual P-Box? No. No, 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 no. Uh, the odds of a duplicate start like this are extremely, extremely low. Reddit user GamerPuppy had to write a special seed searching program that they ran on a GPU in order to search through billions and trillions of seeds just to find dozens with 8x starts like this. The incidence of a seed like this is, is in the less than one in a million by a significant number. So to encounter something like this on your own is an almost will never happen. Maybe one or two people in all of Slay the Spire have gotten a seed like this on their own, but it's pretty dang unlikely. This is outside the realm of something you could reasonably expect to see under normal gameplay. And that's why it's so cool to explore these seeds. Kind of on their own at times. Do I take that storm? Yeah, let's get that storm in play. Storm, echo form, deep rag. Blah, blah. Double white noise. The blapping. Now. Okay, we're starting to take some damage, but a good block card could help with that. Glacier for frost orbs, or a reinforced Bonnie for seven block X times. I'll take a glacier here. Deck certainly wants focus already. We'll take the Golden Idol in exchange for a little bit of our max HP. More money is definitely more better. And I am going to avoid this shop since I want to go to this one. Ooh, greedy, greedy. I'll click three times. One, two, three. Wow. Might have to rerun it. That was painful. Losing a lot of health for no reason to that. Nothing to really get back with Hologram. Streamline would be nice damage for something like Gremlin Knob, but I think we're already past the point of worrying about Gremlin Knob. Let's have a sleep. I guess the way noises are um, our skills, though. Nice. Ho 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 ho! Oh, Gremlin Knob, you poor, poor man. What is about to happen to you? I can hold on to these potions now. White Noise cannot make self repair, no. I didn't even need to dissolve chaos. That's extra funny. 
It sure can make buffers, though. Nice try, Grumlin Nub. Turn it, making us immune to frail. And there's the self repair at the end of combat heal seven. Our storm run really wanted that. I will be taking it. That'll provide us a way to sustain ourselves. Heck, I'll even upgrade it. That'll give us a way to sustain ourselves through multiple combatant. Oh my! Mummified Hand is here already, saying whenever we play a power card, a random card in our hand costs zero this turn. And now, something interesting is happening. We're going to be able to play all the cards in my hand every turn, pretty much. It's kind of like all the white noises just got upgraded for free. Now we just need to find some heat sinks, right? Do I upgrade Storm now? Seems like I should. You. Exclamation point seed up there in the corner if you want to experience this hot nonsense yourself. Orange pellets are here. Oh man, frozen egg is also here. Shame we can't afford the frozen egg. Current problem with orange pellets is that I have no attack cards, so I can't activate the orange pellets. Of course, we can change that, right? Real shame about this frozen egg, though. The auric halcom is also quite nice, just a guaranteed six block per turn. Something we currently don't have. Hey there, Carissa, that's right. Eight white noise start with Storm is the first card offered into Mummified Hand is this run. Pretty fun. Yeah, I really like the Uruk Alchem. Second self-repair is almost fine, too. Would Frozen Egg make the generated powers upgraded? No, only powers that you are permanently adding to the deck will, uh, will get counted or added there. I should have played the dual cast. Fair. Double buffer. Even better. Currently, I block for twelve or a Calcum plus two frost orbs. We take one hit, lose our buffer. If I play the buffer, this frost orb gets evoked. I get six block, then I lose the Orichalcum, only gain three more block. So playing buffer actually makes me lose buffer. But if I play both powers, then we're actually perfect here. We get both buffer stacks and both orbs evoke. Okay. Let's do full damage. Don't have the luxury of uh, waiting around in this fight. Not really. Looks like it's over anyway. Flap, flap. A nice generous heal. Strike tummy makes our strikes do more damage. We don't have any strikes. But I do have a reinforced body. One more block card seems pretty reasonable. Time for Meteor Strike! Yeah, with the Mummy Hand, I like that. I like that a lot. Wow, this is strong. Still didn't manage to full block this turn, though. That's deeply concerning. The Zappening. More powers, a deep rag gives us focus, capacitor gives us orb slots. This deck super wants some focus, so I'll super take a defragment. No need for a liquid bronze. Oh, poor Legavulin. Shouldn't have. 
One, two, three. Exactly don't wake the Ig boy. Look pretty good. Would anyone like some lightning? Would anyone like some music? Apparently not. Zap zap. Calipers might be good here, letting us retain 15 block rather than all of our block. All for one returns nothing, because basically nothing goes to the discard pile. Likewise, hologram. Don't feel like we need a doom and gloom. Who cares? Get it out of here. Where's my heat sinks at? Alright, slime bowie. Got an echo form and another storm. Beautiful. Wow. Slime boy is very dead. This is gonna hurt a lot. <laughs> Rip slime boss. GG. Rest in pieces, slime boss. Rest in pieces. GG. All right. We have more powers on offer, notably bias cognition, one of the strongest ways to gain focus in the game. It's also electrodynamics to guaranteed make our lightning orbs hit all enemies. But what about meteor strike, which we can play thanks to the power of the mummified hand and does bonus damage with the strike dummy. That's actually kind of appealing. It might even be better than the biased, and I, I don't say that lightly. It's going to be plus six energy if we make it free. And I assure you there will be uses for six energy. For example, reinforced body to generate block then with calipers. Oh yeah. I like that. I like that a lot. Fusion hammer. Hmm. Sozu's not bad. No longer obtain potions in order to get more energy. Or we can astrolabe, transform and upgrade three cards. I would transform and upgrade zap, dual cast. I'm not allowed to target the white noises. I'm just going to say that. Um, so I'd have to lose one of these cards, and that all kind of hurts quite a bit. I have two good transforms, but not three. I think that's better than skipping, and I think skipping is better than taking either of these two relics. So I will take the Astrolabe. And then we lose none of these three upgraded powers. So it's either Meteor Strength, Glacier, Reinforced. It really hurts to lose the Reinforced with the thingy, but I want to keep the Glacier. All right. Look at that. We get an Electro Plus and a Force Field Plus for block, as well as a Stinky Reprogram that we won't want to use. But these two are excellent finds and a very good use of our Transforms. Wonderful. Let the murdering continue. I don't really have enough money for shops to be that good, huh? I can remove reprogram, that's about it. How'd the old reprogram work? It was uh, Scry. They actually changed it because they wanted Scry to be a, a watcher mechanic. It was a zero cost scry four, I think, and upgraded scry six. Hilariously, at the time, basically nobody thought that it was a very good card, but in retrospect, knowing what I know about Watcher now, I think it was a very, very good card. And everybody was underrating it the whole time that it existed. But that's how it goes sometimes. All right, what upgrades are important? Literally nothing. All right, sweet. That's right, it didn't have any effect attached to it. It was no block, no deal damage, but... 
as a zero cost, still very good. What a conveniently timed buffer. These white noises have been worth their weight in gold if just for the buffers they've generated. It's been pretty insane. Alright, so here we go. We're going to be able to play Meteor Strike for free. Free to your strike. Kerblam. Well, now that's an interesting choice. Upgraded power or... An X cost card to make use of our mass energy generated with the Meteor Strike. Hard to say no to the upgraded power. Hey there, Valor Desert Fox. What's my thought on the skip to the boss event? Basically never something that you want to do. Uh, at least if you're going for a heart run. Genuinely can be quite useful if you're not attempting to fight heart. Um, but mostly not one of my favorite events. Events would be a pretty good tier list for uh, for the YouTubes. We also talked about maybe doing a, a tier list of all the enemies. I think we're still lacking the draw to make this Tempest worthwhile. Deck really wants a Heat Sinks. I'll take a Storm, though. Storm number two, yes, please. And let's get rid of the reprogram. Apparitions. Hmm. I don't think so. Losing the max HP is a bit sketchy. With the self-repair, it's not too bad, but... I don't think so. Hmm. Calipers? Maybe I do want apparitions in this deck. It increases the odds that I'll... Well, does it increase the odds I'll die early on? No idea. It's going to slow us down offensively. Might be a boon defensively, though. I usually say that you should take this in decks that have a damage strategy. That's us. Okay, I'll, I'll take them. I'll take them. Let's see what it does for us. Immediately puts us into deep jeopardy. Unless this just kills these guys, which it might. Oh, so close. This is a power. Boot sequence could also help, although I think it's a little redundant with Aura Calcum. This feels good. Whoops. My order! Huh. Galloper's value. First Elite is Slaver's pretty terrifying turn one. Oh. Oh. Wow. Managed to pull Apparition with the generated heat sinks. Thank you. Well, that's what I call luck. Yeah. 
definitely feeling good about apparitions in this moment. Blampity blampity. Pantograph will heal us at the start of boss fights. That might be a little redundant. How about a second glacier just to round out the blocking game? Welcome. Defense or combats now? Honestly, combats just because they're so dang fun. Right? Like we get to play Electrodynamic Storm against the three cultists. That's a good time. Every time. I think the outcome of White Noise is a really good highlight into just how good the power pool of the defect is, on average. These uh, outcomes are pretty ridiculous, and why, yes, I will take a third storm with a free upgrade. Glad we didn't buy that frozen egg. The number of free upgraded powers we've seen would have been secretly terrible. All right, you two. Lots of days to the draw pile, but we'll never see him because the cultist is dead. Stinky attack cards. Who needs him? How about a happy flower? I do find myself wanting more energy sometimes. Not a whole lot of it, but. Hmm. Take the blue key. We're still missing the draw to make that particularly good. play too much here. I want to play the self-repair. Nada. Okay, let's go elite fire elite with one question mark. We can upgrade our third storm if we want to. I'm a little hesitant to do so, though. I'd also want to upgrade one of the white noises. It's essentially a bonus mummy hand proc on that turn. Also, you could have hit me. It would have been fine. Hey, where's my Electro at? Oh, dear. Now none of them died? That's horrifying. Alrighty then. Now they all died. Potentially takeable recycle. Feels unnecessary though, we have so much energy generation already. Do I even want things to be upgraded? Hmm. Ho hum. Yeah, 
guess we'll go for one upgrade here. No point in upgrading these apparitions, I don't think. We're basically just always playing them when we see them. Not sure what I think I'm using this energy for. Can Liquid Memories that to get a kill here? That's gonna be worth it. Bonk. That felt good. That feels good. Feels comfortable. And there it is, the missing card for this deck. A heat sinks whenever we play a power card, draw one card. Upgrade it, draw two cards. Welcome. Completely ignore that electrodynamics. We already have one anyway. This is the big winner. Now we have a use for energy, really. But mostly we're just going to instantly destroy everything. should be the third and final turn of this fight. There we go. Blappity blappity. GG. GG, everybody. Buffer is the obvious thought here, preventing the next time we would lose health. How does this deck do against Bird Boss? Way better than you'd think. I have, I have no fear against the bird here. Could take a Core Surge to block a Bias Cognition. We do have a real one, right? No, I don't. I've just been getting random ones constantly. All right, well, give me a buffer then. And consider a Sneko Eye, drawing us two more cards each turn, but starting us out confused. Pamek asks, is Rainbow any good? You feel like you never pick it up. I think Rainbow can be can be really good. I like to think of Rainbow as uh, discount orbs. Three orbs for the price of one. Uh, and three orbs for one card is a pretty good deal. Combines really well with Vision, um, with, uh, with uh, Compile Driver, with Capacitor. Basically, it just lets you fill up your orb slots really efficiently, and no matter what kind of orb you're looking for, Rainbow will give you one. Problem is, of course, that Rainbow never gives you multiple orbs of the one type that you want, but it's always at least reasonably useful. So it's going to be useful in almost every situation, which is what I like about Rainbow. It's never the exact perfect card for the situation, but it's always a card for the situation. Jack of all trades, master of none so to speak. Oh, yeah, don't we have a Meteor Strike to go with this Neko Eye, too? We totally do. And, of course, the Mummy Hand is just going to make everything free anyway. I think that's a pretty convincingly good Neko Eye, then. I'm also not unhappy with Sacred Bark for double potions. Well, let's take Neko Eye. This should be... Hey, hey, everyone. Did you know that you can now support me directly on YouTube by getting a channel membership? For as low as five bucks a month, you'll get access to perks like custom badges and emojis to use in comments and discounts on the merch store, all while helping support me and this channel to do what I love every day. Just click the join button below to get started. Now back to the video. A pretty ridiculous, uh, pretty ridiculous seed overall. Or relic overall. All the shops are on the far, far side. I guess we'll just avoid shops until next act. I want to go three elites. Take some event rooms while I'm at it. Okay, so we'll start here. Cross through the middle. Upgrade here, fight, fight. Fight. 
So why would he pick Sneko? Sure, we've got a hand of random cost, but behold, with the mummified hand making things free, we can just kind of chain react everything in our hands and play every card anyway. Right? Then there's no downside at all. We just played seven cards, two free card draws. So I just play the card that's zero cost, it makes a new card that's zero cost, and we keep doing that until every card has been played. It's goo. I'll keep this Blessing of the Forge to potentially upgrade a generated power. I don't think I want any of this, not with Sneko Eye. Storm. Storm. And Storm. Kerblam! Wow. Yes, and a third glacier for us. I'll add one more. Storms and glaciers. Officially the climate change build. Twelve cards, match them to keep them. Any storms? Core Surge and Zap. Definitely don't want to regret. I don't really want to leap either. Dang. There's a heat sinks in here. Would love to see a second heat sinks, but that's okay. Uh, we need to play this in any order. Doesn't really matter. Oh, perfect apparition draw. Chill. Now with three glaciers, we don't need no chill. Ancient potion could be good though. Then I'm going this way. Jaworms. Mm, I need to be able to guarantee I can play this apparition. Yeah, very consistently with Snekawai, we've been able to play all seven cards on turn one. So we're just playing two more cards per turn, thanks to Snekawai. Yeah. There are not more storms. All right, and here's the the actual full power with storm heat sinks. We haven't had this on turn one yet, but with storm heat sinks, we now also draw two per power we play, in addition to making a random card free. So we're drawing tons of cards. We're playing tons of cards, and it's just kind of out of control, yeah. Well, that, that ended pretty poorly. There's another storm. Fourth copy of storm. Let's freaking go, chat. Let's freaking go. More. More storms.
Riddler's Brew could be okay. I guess I'll take that over an Ancient Potion. Grab our red key here. Yeah, I think I think one more Heat Sinks is exactly what we want. Love this emotion chip. If we lost health during the previous turn, trigger the passive ability of all of our orbs at the start of our turn. That's pretty good. Somebody was asking how we beat Giant Head earlier, I saw in chat. Well, here is your answer. We do this. Make a creative AI on turn one. And then we make an Echo Form on turn two. And a Heat Six. And another Storm. Another Storm. Five copies of Storm, six copies of Storm. Six Lightning Orbs per power I play. That's 60 damage per power. means I don't even get to use the Echo Form. Because the fight is just over. Wow. Dead Branch, whenever we exhaust a card, add a random card to our hand. That's a lot of cards getting added from a lot of white noises. But do I actually want them? Dead Branch seems to me like it might ruin this perfect deck of power cards. So for once, I'm going to say no thank you. Uh, very problematically, the Dead Branch cards will be the recipient of the Mummy Hand. Zero cost procs. And I think that could actually really hurt us. Do I take a Capacitor? I don't think that I do. This deck is not using Frostworbs to block. Long term. Double Orb Walkers? They'll I'll fight them. Look at all these Shroms. Four storms in seven years ago. Wow, that's just a ton of damage. Wow, and a lot of, lot of max HP out of that too. Mango's great. Fourth glacier is here. Four glaciers, four storms, eight white noises. The perfect deck. Generally speaking, I think I want to be playing the storms before the white noises, even though the white noises could generate heat sinks. I want the extra lightning orbs from playing the powers. And I'm looking to make sure I chain the costs off the mummy hand properly, too. Although that's not always relevant. Oh, I can't kill Nemesis on turn two. Or can I? Or can I? is in play. Double... Well, double this, actually. Kapow. These aren't powers. Get out of here. Powers only, please. Well, I Tesseract can have powers, and we're going to get all the health back immediately, so I might as well look, at least. Panache is a power. Mayhem is a power. Get in the deck, both of you. More powers. 
What about the Awakened One? What about the Awakened One? Don't you worry about the Awakened One. The Awakened One's not going to get very far. Don't you worry your little head about the Awakened Ones. Hopefully we do this to the Awakened One. Alright, next up is the Awakened One. Alright, time to put our money where our mouth is. Can we beat the bird? The nerd. And how much strength will the Awakened One have when I'm finished? That is the question. I'm just going to play all the powers. Make no mistake about that. Twelve strength on turn one. No multi attack yet. We got heat sinks on turn two, so that's really good. Birds are dead. Mayhem's in play. Let's see what these all are. More buffers, another storm, that's good. Another storm. Might run out of powers, though. Okay, now I can play more powers without angering the Awakened One, but I don't want to play them yet. I'm just going to accumulate some block here. Alright, that's phase one down. Wicked One has 26 strength, and I have way more block than that. The Blappening. I guess this is why we have the Meteor Strike, just in case I run out of um, powers that I can kill my opponent with. Oh, we're there with the Panache. GG. GG. All right, that's Awakened One for you. Not exactly um, a threatening opponent. Two thump, two thump, two thump. A deep pulsing dread can be felt throughout the room. Is this the heart of the Spire, the source of this almighty power? You charge your core to its maximum, dealing 29-15. A mighty score. And Nib's almost done a thing. Almost, chat. Guess I'll upgrade Panache. The apparition upgrades don't really matter. Hmm. Power potion? Relic wise, I do like the Lee's waffle for a little bit more health. Currently, Mummy Hand is about uh, five energy per turn. <laughs> Seems pretty good. Algorithm could be as much as five block by the end of the game. Ah. Cables makes our rate most orb trigger one more time. That's a minor benefit. Similar to Thread Needle. Yeah. 
I really do like the power potion. Although Blessing of the Forge could be nice too. That could upgrade a generated heat sinks. Or give me more focus. It's worth thinking about. Or give me more stacks of buffer even, actually. I quite like that. I am going to keep the Blessing of the Forge upon review. So let's do, let's do Waffle Cables. Mmm. Cable Waffles. Heat sinks turn one here. That should be plenty. The Blappening. Alright, well that was a good fight. We get a data disc for one point of focus. Look at all these uh, orb-related relics that we just picked up. We could take an energy generator in aggregate or turbo. I think we're fine. As we are. Pennib is charged. We're ready to bonk that heart for double damage. Let's go. Don't feel the need to Gambler's Brew yet. Looks like an acceptable turn one. Our two storms are here. We get rid of... I guess I could gamble one of the apparitions. We can count the number of turns for this run after it's over, Lucky Karacha. That's a good question. How many turns has this been? But our odds here, I like our odds here. We have enough block, thanks to the glaciers. I think we'll be able to survive pretty well. I like our odds a lot. Especially with two apparitions. I don't want to gamble this. The problem with gambling apparition is I might just draw another one. Oh, Creative AI turn one, even better. Okay, this turn's a spooky one. Heat thinks is here though, I'm not worried now. Uh, we're not gonna be able to perfect the fight though. That's okay. Actually, I could play Glacier first. It's a relatively mediocre choice, but at the same time... We'll do it. We've got the Meteor Strike. here. And I can play one more card before I have to end my turn. We draw Glacier anyway, which lets me play. You guys worried about the burn or Calcum blocks the burn? Don't worry about it. But I've got Glacier, so we can actually keep going now. Deep Frag. This might be my Blessing of the Forge here. Mm. Already kept on damage, that's true. Uh, but I can get more set up, you know? Focus seems good. Focus in orb slot seems good. Get rid of that. He's all exhaust. This gets buffered. 
Redshift J, thank you so much for the Prime sub. Welcome to the Cozy Sub Club. Mayhem tried to play Wound, it did not succeed, and for that reason we didn't take any damage. Good. I'm not doing that apparition, it's okay. Okay, we'll stop there. Seems like a pretty good turn to me. And the mummy hand is losing a lot of its uh, oomph now. That's okay. GG, Mr. Hard. Another glorious win for Claw. GG. Hey there. If you enjoyed that video, watch this one next. And before you go, join us on Twitch and watch live. I'm there five days a week playing Slay the Spire, answering questions, and chilling with the community. Click the link in the description to follow right now. Ta-ta for now.